In this tutorial, we'll cover how to add a web link to your course. So to begin, you'll select your folder link. You'll choose the Build Content menu. And rather than selecting Item, you'll select Web Link. From there, you'll name your item. Um, and then you have to copy and paste the URL. So you can see up at the top I've got multiple tabs open. I'll just go to the video or it can be a web page, whatever you want to link. I'm going to choose this, um, this same video and I'm going to click the um, URL here at the top. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come back to my class and I'll paste that in the URL box. From there, um, this content editor box works just as an item would. You can easily copy and paste or either type in text. So I'm going to keep my formatting. You can add text. Again, you can add images. You can um, highlight anything that you would be able to do in an, in an item. You can do in a web link in this content editor box because it does have this content editor box available to you. You can attach files. Um, really, the only difference, and I'll submit here, the only difference between um, an item and including the video in, um, in an item versus the web link is how the student access it and how it looks in your course. It gets a little bit of a different aesthetic. So in an item, when you add a video, you can um, see that it provides a video thumbnail when you add a web link, um, the student will click on the link, the web link itself, the title here, to access the video, and then that video will open up in another tab. So, there's no right or wrong, wrong way. Um, sometimes variety is, is helpful. Um, sometimes you need to consider your aesthetic. And the, the most important thing, though, is that students um, understand how to access the content. So don't assume that they're going to know to click here, especially if you've got brand new students that are unfamiliar with online learning. Um, in your directions, you may need to say, click on the web link above to access your video. Um, so you might want to provide some, some instruction here so that students will know that this is the web link that they need to click on to open the video. Otherwise, in an item, it's pretty obvious here that you would click um, on the video thumbnail itself to view the video. But those are really the only differences between um, an item and a web link. I hope this helps. Thank you.